Question number 1. What do you suppose the origin of the universe is? Scientists have now reached a consensus that the universe emerged from an infinitely small, dense point called a singularity, where the rules of science cease to operate. Singularities are conceivable by general relativity, Einstein's theory of space, time, and gravity. Singularity caused the Big Bang. Before the Great Bang, there was no such thing as space or time. A singularity is not a part of our universe, and time stops at a singularity. The Big Bang's singularity implies that the universe has a beginning, and since the universe began to exist, it must have a cause. There is always a reason for something to exist. The creator of the universe cannot be a part of it because that would imply that the universe existed and did not exist simultaneously. Do not the disbelievers see that the heavens and the earth were, once, one single entity, which we then parted asunder? and we made from water every living thing. Will they not then believe? Quran 2130 About 300,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe was like a smoke-filled chamber from which light could not escape. According to modern science the universe was all smoke at one point in time. This new scientific fact is mentioned in the Quran 14 centuries ago. Then he turned to the sky, while it was smoke, Quran 4111. As a result of this controlled Big Bang explosion, the particles of matter had scattered under a special process and speed. Thereafter, they began circling in specific orbits. Johannes Kepler was a German astronomer, mathematician, and astrologer who is best known for his planetary motion laws and the book Astronomia Nova. According to Kepler's laws of planetary motion, planets move in elliptical orbits with the sun as a focus. And he is the one who created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon, each floating in its own orbit, Quran 2133. The celestial bodies in space like the planets and satellites move in paths that obey the laws of motion. By the sky, having paths, Quran 51, 7. Previously, it was assumed that the sun was stationary, however, NASA has now proved that the sun is not stationary but actually spins. The rotation period at the equator is about 27 days. Kepler also discovered that these objects vary in their speeds within their orbits, rather than moving with a constant speed. Since every planet has to move in its orbit, as predetermined by the divine design it cannot move against that, for which it has been ordained. It is not allowable for the sun to reach the moon, nor does the night overtake the day, but each, in an orbit, is swimming. Quran 3640 Why is it that the Quran precisely mentions the most recent scientific discoveries?